There are several advantages and disadvantages to using the Invisalign or, or clear braces that we, what we speak of. Some of the advantages is the fact that because they are clear braces, they are also removable, meaning that they can be taken in and out at the patient's convenience. This is advantageous because oftentimes when traditional braces are placed on the teeth, your hygiene becomes a lot more complicated. It's much more difficult to keep your teeth clean as well as your gums healthy. And Invisalign lends that to itself and the fact that it, they can be removed while you're working on your hygiene. They also can be removed while you're eating and drinking and things like that. So from a hygiene standpoint, they are much more easier to keep your teeth clean. And certainly from a convenience standpoint, they can be taken out at, kind of at the patient's will. But it's important to understand too that they can't be off for too long and they're typically advised that you need to wear them for anywhere from 16 to 20 hours a day. So while they are a convenience to take off and on, it's important that you stick with the routine. That being a disadvantage is that if you're not compliant with wearing them on a regular basis, that is you're taking them off and you're forgetting them to put back on, then you lose the, the effect of the invisible braces being able to move, to move your teeth. Some of the other advantages is obviously because they're clear they don't compromise your cosmetics or your aesthetic personality. So when you're wearing the clear braces, it's very hard for patients to actually see that you're wearing, which makes that very attractive to patients that are possibly out in the public or maybe in a public speaking situation. So they're more cosmetic. They're also more convenient because you can take them in and out. We also find too that people that are prescribed Invisalign treatment as the treatment is usually a lot faster. That being said, you know, we, we see cases as little as six months up to maybe 12 to 18 months that the Invisalign can help accomplish that end result. However, with traditional braces, sometimes it can take anywhere from two to three years depending on the situation. So really, you know, there's not a lot of disadvantages to the Invisalign. It more, more or less depends on the situation that the patient presents with. You know, Invisalign is good for small situations such as a small amount of crowding or a small amount of spacing. If you want to do maybe like a small little tilt or upright of a tooth, those work great. Now, if you have very poor crowding or very, very bad spacing or something unusual like an underbite, Invisalign is typically not going to be successful to restore that back to where it needs to be. So Invisalign is a very good option, but again, it's on a case-to-case -case basis of whether or not it's a pro or con.